Overlooking the Tower of London is a 15th century Anglican church called All Hallows by the Tower, regarded as the oldest church in the city of London. I am really excited to come here today to explore and draw this church. It has a lot of history about it and I love how it stands out surrounded by all the other big modern architectural buildings. The church originally was built around 675 AD, 300 years before the Tower of London. All Hallows was constructed on top of earlier Roman buildings, remains that can be viewed in the church crypt beneath. The church survived the Great Fire of London in 1666 and was badly damaged during the Blitz in World War II. The church has a Saxon archway, which is believed to be the oldest surviving within the city, and its exterior largely dates back to the 15th century, and the interior rebuilt in the 1940s after serious damage inflicted during World War II bombing raids. The church's crib is a museum displaying ancient registers, Saxon and Roman artifacts. Also in the crypt is a part of the Roman tessellated floor of a late 2nd century domestic house. Now it's time to explore inside the church. Let's go! It is really nice in here. There is a lot to see. You can spend the most of the day in here looking at all the different types of artifacts on display. The church had a very calm and peaceful atmosphere. I felt very comfortable walking around, exploring. The church was a little bit busy today. A constant stream of people coming in and out. The church is open throughout the day and it's free to come in. So I highly recommend it. You can find out more information on their website and also I'll leave some information in the description below. I did find out later on when I was filming that we wasn't allowed to film in here so I had to stop recording but I did really film quite a lot of it so I had to share what I had with you guys. Okay, time to explore the underground crypt. This is gonna be fun and interesting. This is part of the second century Roman tessellated floor. It's fascinating to know that the modern city of London is built over an old city remains, but I guess most modern cities are. Wow, I didn't expect it to be like this down here. It's like a mini museum. A lot of different types of artifacts. A lot to see. I love looking at ancient artifacts. And it's fascinating to know that these pieces were created thousands of years ago. Great pieces of work. It did feel a bit eerie down here compared to the church top floor level. So the underground crypt is located beneath the nave of the Saxon church and it contains three chapels.
The church itself has strong connections with the Inquisitions of the Knights of Templar and the Chapel of St. Mary. The Undercroft Chapel is a former vicar's vault. It contains ashes of former parishioners and those closely associated with the church. This is the chapel of St. Francis of Assisi. It has a barrel vaulted ceiling design dating from 1280. This is St. Clair Chapel. It was rediscovered in 1927. This tiny chapel is actually a burial vault of the 17th century. I really enjoyed visiting this church and exploring its history. Definitely worth your visit. You won't be disappointed. There's a lot of interesting artifacts to see. Anyway, I think it's time to go. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And tune in next Wednesday for the next video. Take care. Peace.